Hi everyone, this is Indrik from Check This Now Project, another update. Um, it will be about the uh, FDR, flood action indicator. Um, I'm now uh, having the pitch axis working as well, and I also fixed the speed command indicator. But I also found some cu cool stuff about that. Um, uh, because as you know we are using original parts, we are not opening them, we are not changing the original motors with servos or the, the steppers uh, and um, this instrument use what's called the motor generator, sorry motor tachometer which is uh, a three phase motor that uses a fixed AC signal in one pin and two shifting phase signals to rotate uh, the motor and the tachometer is just generating a power so that the system knows that it is moving and how fast. Ooh, I'm not using the tachometer but I'm using the output from the uh, synchro transmitter uh, so that at any moment you know the combination of the of uh, the uh, three phase um, um, uh, output that these tran transmitters are generating and after a very long time of trying to calibrate and trying to find out what's wrong with that today I found when I was out, uh, out on, on the cigarette <laughs> that the the motors and transmitters just need to need some time to be heated up, and then uh, in uh, after about 15-20 minutes, uh, everything is just working perfect. The motors are rotating fast enough, um, transmitters are sending a stable value, but when when they are cold, it's just a mess. So that's what you see. That that's what that's what you will see in a moment. Um, and that I found out just by accident. I was thinking that uh, there, uh, there are some interface, uh, interfering problems in the wiring, but no, that instrument just needs its time to be warm. <laughs> so that's it. And now it's cold, so you will see what will what will occur without touching the software. And okay, I turn on the battery. I got GPU available. <coughs> And now I'm turning on the GPU. So once the AC uh, AC power 115 volts are on bus, this instrument starts to be alive. And you see, it's turning left, right, left, right. Somehow it's doing crazy stuff. The pitch axis is is moving very slow, but at the temperature inside the motors and the transmitters will start to raise it's almost m not moving now on the pitch axis it should align itself on the zero pitch but um, as the time goes um, it will start to work do better and better I will let the, fo the camera focus on the instrument I will start the APU goes faster now and it goes to minus something pitch now the roll is on the other side of it was before and and as I said as the uh, time goes it will align itself so the APU is starting one another thing about the FDI uh, the, the pitch um, is tending when it's no power it's spring loaded so when there is no power no AC power it will automatically goes down to uh, 90 degrees up or the, 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 the maximum that it can show and so that when when the power was disconnected and connected back it tends to go uh, like up so if I disconnect the power now again it will go to zero uh, or the 90, 90 degrees up and now it's now it's partly heated, 
And as you mentioned before, that it goes very slow in the beginning to the pitch. Now it goes very much and much faster. So this this is this is how, what I've found today. I'm very happy that I found it. And it's another behavior that is that cannot be simulated by any anything else. It's just it's just the natural behavior of that instrument. Okay, so now let's start the engines. And I think I'm ready to do that. No, I will not do that. I will do it the way it's most, it's fastest. So I put it to clear for takeoff. Again, disconnect. And yep, I don't have a power. And so that works good as well because in order to Uh, as, the, as there is no consumption from the engines, uh, the, from the AC power, from the right right bus, uh, there will be no no power shown, and no power is read uh, read from uh, from the uh, from the F6, and this uh, the the relay that is powering that instrument is off. Now you see it's on again, so. As the engine is started, um, the power goes back to the instrument and it will work again. Uh, the solution is simple. Uh, what, why does that happen? Is because the APU when you when you select um, the cleared for takeoff, it just disconnects all the power, but nothing is like wrong. Only um, you need. I'm uh, I'm testing the right bus so that there is AC load from the motor from the engine. When there is AC load, I say yes, the right bus is on, or one of these two must be connected, which was not. But okay. So you see, it's still it's still better and better. We will need much more time to uh, to see the, the perfect alignment of the instrument. But what I do now, I'll perform a takeoff because you want to see that in action, that's for sure. So, thrust on. And again, all other stuff should be okay, like uh, the speed command, the localizer, uh, the um, glide slope. But I didn't tune any frequency, but you saw that uh, um, in my previous video if you, if you wanted to. And of course the uh, radio altimeter is working and roll and pitch axis will be now uh, showing uh, the corresponding situation from the cool sky scenario. Now we are waiting for the speed. Yes, it is rising as you see here. So let's roll and make some rock and roll. And now um, uh, rotating and you see and I'm also turning to the right and you see both the axes are doing their job I turned on the autopilot right now and uh, I'll put it to heading mode but it's just doing what it should it's in climb they see it's the same as here so if I focus both of them and I will go to a crazy climb it will go to a crazy climb as well if I go to a descent it will go to a descent So it's the same. It shows exactly what is happening on the F6, and um, let's do a straight flight.
is still the same here. So that's the HSI in both uh, roll and pitch. And um, um, you also see some of, of the cool stuff that that is just uh, that cannot be produced any other way than only the instrument can do that. Okay, guys. I think that's enough for today, and um, see you next time. I hope. Bye bye.